We're gonna be bad boys today, it seems. Ooh, that's mud. Classic Pittsburgh trails, baby. <laughs> we have a blockade. We have a fallen tree. We have the recently repaired bridge that hilariously collapsed when Biden came to visit last year. And we have construction materials way in the back. Gotta love the Rust Belt. Happy Saturday, everyone. It is a gloomy day after a series of gloomy days. I'm on a little, a little hike. That's a couple miles, actually five miles, which is significant. Um, and I'm feeling a little glum. So I thought, might as well vlog, because it always cheers me up. I think this time of year, just like March and April are my least favorite times of year by far, because everywhere I've lived, spring has always been incredibly ugly and drawn out. Um, and like nothing is blooming yet. I'm walking through like the scene in Eraserhead, it feels <laughs> like the, the, the industrial wasteland of the movie. I'm also super frustrated because you know how is like a, in the past two vlogs, like, yeah, my ankle hurts a little bit, but I don't know why. Like it just started randomly. Ankle, I felt it, I felt it, but it wasn't, it didn't hurt. I was just like aware of it. Well, I went on a four mile run last week. Felt really, really good. Easily could have gone five miles. I could have kept cruising. But I was like, let's just do four miles, chill out. I don't want to injure myself. And then since then, like, my ankle starts hurting when I run on it. Just today, as soon as I started walking, I felt like weird tension in my IT band. Not pain, but like, I'm definitely gonna like stretch and foam roll and whatever after this, like ASAP. But I'm just really frustrated because like the Pittsburgh half is in like, what, five weeks? But I'm trying, I, I said this from the beginning, I'm trying not to get too attached to the outcome. Like if I don't end up running this half, literally whatever, I'll just switch my registration to the 5K, run a fun little 5K through downtown, and then aim for like my race goals later in the year. Because really this was just motivation to get me to up my running mileage, which I feel like, like it did. I was getting back in the groove of things. So we'll see. So I'm really trying not, I always get like so attached to the outcome and this is what I wanted to avoid this time around. So yeah, we'll just say, we might stay a little flexible with things. I'm not disappointing anyone. No one expected anything of me. I'm not even disappointing myself. So that's my little pep talk. Also, to be honest, I feel like this is just the time of year where like so many people I know are like feeling weird about their like training. Like my two friends I climb with, like one of them is having a finger injury. One of them's just like not been feeling the climbing vibes. Like every time they climb, they're just like, it's not my day. I f my theory is we're coming off like months of winter where everyone's been doing their like indoor like routine and just grinding because what else is there to do in January and February? But we're not quite at like the warmth where people are starting to spend more time outside and like changing things up. So that's why I think everyone's getting their like weird spring fever, like weird vibes all around. Everyone's experiencing weird vibes. Let me know if you're experiencing weird vibes. I'm certainly experiencing weird vibes. Weird vibes in the air. These are my absolute favorite things to eat, like on a hike or if I'm going from a run to the gym or something, like they're just so simple, so tasty, I love them. Also, we're about halfway there, but the next um, mile and a half maybe of trail is super hilly, so we'll see how we fare. Hard section of the trail is almost done. Thank God. I lied. Just when you think it will stop going up, it keeps going up. All right, now that we're back on relatively flat land, um, 
I didn't want to take a moment to say that my comfort, but we're also by society, we're passing a field on our left hand side. So I also wanted to say that I'm like noticing how much more comfortable I am on like hiking by myself and going on like slightly longer hikes, like one mile on a trail, like whatever. But five miles, definitely not crazy. I mean, it only took me a couple hours. I'm gonna finish in like 2.15. But still, like I feel a lot more just comfortable walking by myself, navigating all trails and not getting lost, which also helps because we are in like city parks within city limits. But I would really like to like take road trips, even just like an hour or two outside the city. Um, like down into West Virginia, like New River Gorge National Park. I'd love to spend some time there. So that's what I think is gonna be another priority for the summer. That'd be really fun. All super dead. But at least we have the beautiful clear blue sky. Hello everyone. Surprise, who would have guessed it? It's the next day, but we're on another hike at a different trail. Back to back hikes. Very unusual for me. You guys are getting a special treat today. So I try I tested my ankle again this morning. I was hoping for a run. Walking does not bother it at all but the second I start to like put more force on it, like running, it starts hurting. So I'm not really sure what's going on there, but I thought I'd hike today instead. So we are on the Rachel Carson Trail, um, the North Park section. This trail, I believe is a 37 mile trail in honor of Rachel Carson, who wrote Silent Spring, Pittsburgh native, I'm pretty sure. I could be making things up, so I'll drop in like my edited self to correct any misinformation. So editing Kara popping in to say that I was correct that Rachel Carson was born right outside Pittsburgh. However, at the time that I'm filming this clip, I'm not actually on the Rachel Carson trail and I won't be on the Rachel Carson trail for like two miles of this video. Um, I do get on there eventually, but um, I all I should have known because all trails was telling me I was on the white and red dot trail and all the blazes were miraculously white and red dots. But my brain was like, surely this is a Rachel Carson trail. So I do get on there eventually, but I am incorrect in assuming that I'm on the trail at this moment in this video. Also, the Rachel Carson trail is like 45 miles according to Wikipedia. I think I pulled the like 37 mile number from the Rachel Carson trail challenge, which I talk about later, but I'm really just spreading lies out here. <laughs> There's so misinformation spreads. But we're only like a couple minutes in. Really nice. I don't know how far I plan on going, um, but I plan on being out here for at least an hour. We'll see how things go. I have my route in all trails, but we'll see if I change things up and there's actually a Rachel Carson trail challenge where people try to hike all 37 miles in one day um, which is a lot um, I'm not on the Rachel Carson trail right now I'm just on one trail that like kind of runs parallel but I really like to do a longer like out and back of I don't know like a significant chunk of the tra trail um, just like a day hike pack a little food you know how it is I also need to take a right because I'm about to go off trail. <laughs> I feel like these might be raspberries, but I can't tell. Honestly, I have no idea. If you know plants, let me know. Okay, I like this. This is a lot more shaded. Oh, this is gonna look so nice in the summer. Now we are officially on the Rachel Carson Trail. The final end of my loop goes on here. So our last 
half mile or so is on the Rachel, Rachel Carson Trail itself. Uphill, kicking my ass as promised. We have a little shelter over here. Totally looks like someone's going to kill me ASAP. Treat yourself. This is where the challenge would finish. I think it's gonna be in June, the full Rachel Carson Trail Challenge. Time for the gourmet snack of sun bunner banana sandwich. Very American meal. My hands are also gross, so I'm not gonna touch this. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a little weird. Like I feel like it's not a normal thing to do for just like a 23 year old girl to spend her Sunday walking around the woods and eating a sandwich and like reading a book. Um, I don't know why I'm self-conscious all of a sudden because it is fun. I think it's fun to frolic. I think it's fun to be whimsical. I think it's healthy for adults to have fun in nature. But for some reason, I'm like, maybe I should be wearing Lululemon and drinking Starbucks at the mall. But also I wouldn't be me if I did that. So, who's really to say? I would not by any means describe myself as a free spirit because I am, as anyone who knows me can attest, I am wildly uptight. I'm very high strung, tightly wound, whatever metaphor you want to come up with, um, I'm that. But I do feel like there's a little bit of like an independent quirkiness to me. I think right now it's still maturing. Um, it's like a little seed. And then I'm gonna be the coolest old lady of all time. But for right now, early 20s Kara, still not really developed. Still kind of self-conscious about the whole thing. But yeah, we're here, so might as well enjoy it. Well, we're back at the parking lot. About to do the nice half hour drive home. Thank you.